Who the who? There he is. Come on now. The summer league champ, baby. All right, now, <laughs> be honest. How does it feel? Man, I don't know, man. It's just summer league. What, like, just I feel like I'm just getting started right now. Oh, you definitely just heating up, though. Come on now. I am seeing lots of positive engagement on social. Oh, Let's yeah? hear a little mm -hmm. bit. MP won't admit it, but he loves that stuff. Whoa, 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 whoa. Admit it? Like, I mean, yes, I'm human, but, you know, I like compliments, too. Oh, especially um, when they're deserved. I tell you. I imagine not wanting MP over Shep could never be me, fam. Uh, oh, I'm going to name my firstborn son after MP. Fast cap. Wow. Oh, that's cap. Mm. Mm. Hey, Ashley, you want to just uh, read it with feeling next time? <laughs> just a suggestion. Yo, yo. Thank you for the recap and all, but I was, you know, hoping that maybe we could, you know, look forward and talk about something that's possibly coming up, you know? Okay, right. eyes yep. on the prize, I that's love it. it. All right, Ashley, go. Uh, you have a meeting with Freddie Novak, okay. new head of brand and marketing. He wants to talk to you about some of the PR initiatives he's spearheading. Lots mm -hmm. of data-driven stuff, how to leverage research into results. I think you'll like it. Yeah, I actually read an article about him in the pin down. He's oh. a very, very interesting hire. That's mm -hmm. right. Very. Mm -hmm. Oh, and just to put this on your radar, we got you a spot on Top Takes Daily. Mm -hmm. Let's get yeah. it. Yeah, we don't have a date set uh, just yet, but it should be sometime in the next two weeks, and it's going to be a great opportunity to take control of the post-draft narrative. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. I mean, is there anything else that we got? That's it for now. Mainly, we just want you to focus on ball, man. Psh, man, y'all taking care of everything. I appreciate it. <laughs> like, for real. You already know, this ain't our first rodeo, kid. Oh, well, it is Mila's first rodeo. Okay, technically, it's your second. So oh, not I that managed different. the old MP since like eighth grade. That's oh, like wait, wait. 20 you rodeos. Wait, hold on, 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 hold on. We're not talking about MP here. Wait, at bro, all. Bro, come on, man. I mean, this whole agency is devoted to you right now. You can't be jealous, are you? Fam, you serious right now? I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Relax. <laughs> <laughs> Smile, man. That me. funny. <laughs> Look, go to your meeting with Freddie and then holler at me when you're done. All right, fam. Ricky? Ricky gone. Text Ricky, I'm canceling lunch. You feel good about all this? I feel great. Okay, good. I feel good. It's a long-term game, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Just taking it step by step. That's it, that's all we could do right now. Pace ourselves. Let's do it. Okay. Getting top takes on the phone. All right. MP, it's going great on, to man. finally meet you. Oh, pleasure's all mine, man. Hey, I read the article about you in the pen down. You're one data-obsessed cat, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can never have too much data. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you came. Uh, look, this Shep thing, yeah. it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Mm -hmm. We're gonna need to put in some work to make sure it doesn't have a negative impact on the start of your career. Okay, yeah, so just like work hard, play well, make people forget Shep ever existed. Yes and no. Let's say we put you in the starting lineup tomorrow and you stumble a little bit. Normally, no big deal. But 68% of our fans wanted Shep, and of that 68%, 95% have a highly unfavorable opinion of you. Okay, so that's basically corporate speak for, they hate my guts. Correct. Yeah. Which means it becomes a story. Papers in this town are out for blood. I'm sure you saw the top take segment. Oh, I did. Okay, look, there's no reason to think that you're not gonna take off right out of the gate. But any hiccup in your play, and we've got a distraction on our hands. Bad for your growth, bad for team chemistry, and it makes Phil Boyer look bad. Mm -hmm. He stuck his neck out for you on draft night. Okay, so what's the solution? Glad you asked. We identify key influencers in our biggest target demos, and we develop strategy to win their affections. Wait, wait so you're telling me my playing time is dependent on what? Whether Johnny TikTok thinks I'm based or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, it's ridiculous. But everything's connected. Okay. If we don't deal with this in a holistic manner, it could affect the bottom line. And when the bottom line's affected, the governors aren't happy. And when the governors aren't happy, nobody's happy. Okay. Um, I just want to be a pillar in this community, man. So if we can find a way to make this, you know, win the city initiative, be a part of that, I'm sold. But I also don't want to do a bunch of PR fluff, though. Same page, 100%. All right. Look, I've already talked with your whole team about this impressive group of people, by the way, and they're going to take a lead on it, okay? 
but my door is always open. Freddy, man, I appreciate your transparency, man. Truly. Just doing my job. Believe me, it is an honor to work with someone as talented as you, MP. I'm really looking forward to seeing what we can accomplish together. <laughs> what up, kid? What's going on, man? Yo, I appreciate you being here, but like I said, you ain't gotta do this. What? This is, this is the in-person treatment that you hired me for. Look, just remember this day when Barry and Associates shows up, trying to see if you need a new agent, all right? <laughs> all right, yo, fair enough, man. So where do we start, man? Let's, let's, let's go on this little tour. Well, are you ready, Saya? Don't do that. Cut the little butler act, man. Act normal, bro. All right, yeah, that didn't even feel right. That was, yeah, it wasn't All right, well, check it out, check it out. First up, we have the only runway in the world that can compete with Paris Fashion Week. <laughs> yeah, bro, that looks like a pretty normal hallway to yeah, me. Yeah, to the untrained eye, it's a normal hallway. But we both know that them pregame walks have made fashion icons out of Russell Westbrook, SGA, LeBron James. <laughs> I mean, the branding possibilities are endless, man. All right, I see you. Now, look, once you get some shine on the court, you know, get in your fashion bag, photographer's gonna be all over you, bro. And the best part is, all you gotta do is show up ready to work, look and fly. Come on, and I, and I can do that, can't I? Yeah, maybe with a little bit of help you can, sure. Bro, I get fly, hey, I get look, fly look, to you. It don't you. even matter. Right now, I just want you to focus on your game, right? Fashion can come later. All right, so check this out. Talk to me. Down this way, you got the press room. Now, anytime you got some post-game media availability, mm -hmm. this is where you're gonna wanna go. Okay. Now, Ashley will meet you tonight after the game to walk you over, you know, give you some more pointers, but mm -hmm. typically it's gonna be on you to make sure you don't miss these opportunities. Sure. I mean, opening yourself up more for the press is just better for you. I mean, but you're a natural-born leader, you get that. Bro, I do this, man. I could do media in my sleep. <laughs> all right, you know well, this. <laughs> well, one more note on that. The media is allowed all through this hallway, so you might get stopped for press time just when you're walking around. And because I said that, you are under the microscope here, all right? Oh, you ain't gotta Act make... accordingly, that's all I'm saying. You ain't gotta make it sound so intense, man. I got this. All right. What else you got for me? All right, well, down here is also the arena manager's office. Mm -hmm. You're probably not gonna go there much, but, you know, just so you know. And also, there's your standard, generic meeting room. Now, once again, you're probably not gonna use it much, but, I mean, could come in handy if you need to have a private conversation. Right, right, away from the prying eyes of the tabloids, right? Yes, look at you paying attention. I, I like that. a little that. bit, man. <laughs> and then down further a little bit this way, You've got the locker room. And okay. looks like Coach Graves is waiting for you, actually. Okay, uh, anything else? That's it. Now, I gotta shake some hands before tonight's game, but uh, you go out there and have fun, man. man. Appreciate it, man. Again, man, it's always good seeing a familiar face in new settings. Man, don't even mention it. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> have a great game, man. All right, man. You're here nice and early, love to see it. Still doing my job, Coach. Humble and hardworking. Those qualities like to see in a draft pick. But you already knew that. <laughs> Let me show you the locker room. Let's do it. So obviously you've seen one of these before. Nothing too unusual. Your locker's over there. The one with my name on it, right? <laughs> Quick study. We put the starter's name on the whiteboard over here before every game. Coach likes to keep things regular, but obviously injuries happen. People perform or they don't. So it'll change from time to time. All right, well. Hopefully it changes sooner rather than later. You keep doing the right things. You'll be there sooner than you think. Hey, that's the plan. Hey, come on, let me show you my office. Come on in. Now, I know you're anxious to find out how you're gonna fit into the rotation. Coach, man, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't hyped, man. You got no idea. Like I said, we wanted to see how you performed under pressure, so we put a lot of weight in your performance in the Summer League Championship. Okay. Yeah, you were very clear about that. Communication is super important in this organization, so I am glad to hear you say that. And I'm also glad to let you know that you'll be our sixth man to start the season. Sixth man? Um, okay, can't be mad at that. I thought you'd be a little higher in the joy scale than can't be mad at that. Joy scale? Coach, you're a life coach on the side? You getting a little pocket money there? Yeah, I joke <laughs> when I'm upset too. I'm not upset, it's just, I haven't come up the bench since my freshman year of college. And before that, Never, really. I get that. But six men at this level is a big responsibility. People have long careers in that role, and you haven't even played a game yet. I feel you. I feel you, man. It's just I have high expectations for myself, and I'm not exactly at a 10 on the joy scale just yet. I get it. 100%. Honestly, I'd be concerned if you didn't feel that way. You want to make it here, you got to have a hunger to be the best. I mean, if you're not competing to be the best here, what are we doing? <laughs> exactly. Doing? Exactly. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to get dressed, you know where your locker is, and once you're ready to head to the court, it's the tunnel across from the locker room. Any questions? 
Ah, Koshi, I'm ready. Let's get it. See you out there. Last season, I forgot to set the time limit for uh, how much and how long I'm in the game. Remember that? Like, it was like at five minutes. I don't know if anybody remembers that. But hey, I remember that. And we're not making that mistake again. But this is the first game of the season, and we're already in the game. Oh, you're cutting back door on me already? Come on, Murray. I'm glad to see you playing right now. I swear to God. They are double teaming Jokic, and Jokic still puts it up. Alrighty, Mike Conley. Be smooth. Conley doing too much. Vanderbilt. He pass it right to me. I feel like that's a bad shot. Denver has gone two for four from range to start things off. Here's Murray. Beyond the arc. Vanderbilt pulls it. All right. Rudy Gay. I'm in the paint. Rudy Gay's not going to feed me. He's just going to be selfish. Go ahead and do your thing. I don't mind. Ooh, mobile one drive. Ooh. Oh, Jokic is hitting that. Alright, right, it's time to get some buckets, man. We ain't get a bucket yet. Ooh, we going to the line though. I like that. We drawing fouls on Jokic. Jokic had to push me. He know what time it is. He know what time it is. Green light. Mm -hmm. The light is starting to come back a little bit. I gotta help my teammate up and score. If I get a good screen. Oh, that works. That works. Yes, sir. Oh, run on the break. Keep pushing, keep pushing. All the way. Another rebound for me. Let's see if we can push it all the way. And one. Oh, that was a bad play. <laughs> Even though this should have, I should have missed it. This shouldn't have to call it the foul, but that's good. 2K being more realistic. 2K being more realistic. I like it. Oh, I jumped to the ceiling trying to get that rebound. Ooh. Oh, that was not smart. Pass to Caldwell Pope. Back to Porter. I gotta do better than that. I gotta play some, you know. Wing, Caldwell Pope, covered by that offense. It's all good. It's all good. It's the first game. It's the warm up game. Well, second game, really. The first game, they, they trying to make it seem like we was really good. <laughs> we was an MVP. We couldn't miss a shot. Now Jokic. It's guarded by Markkinen. Jokic is not missing out. All right, let's see what we can do. We can call a screen for my boy right here. Get the screen. And we can be wide open. And we get the foul. I noticed that we get to the line a lot more. A lot more. Just by taking the net to the paint. He's scared of me. Some defense. Jokic ain't about to pull up again, is he? I hope not. Oh, God. They are running that offense through Jokic. It's like they break it away from him and then they don't. My teammates trust me with the ball already. Ah, I should have had the wide open pass, but it's all good. He got the wide open lane to do that. 
Vanderbilt's got a second basket of the game. How do you do the fancy layups? I mean, uh, a better shot than that. That was terrible. And here's MP. 11 points in the game. Let's go. We're getting buckets. Welcome you to the studio. We call your attention to the top performers for each team in the first half. Man, you know what, guys? What? I'm trying to think of the last time we saw a rookie like MP. Do you mm, have to maybe go Let me back think on that. I'm, um, I, I don't know. LeBron? Mm. Duncan? Mm. Man, mm. it's tough to come up with the answer. He's, good. He's that good. He could be one of the greats. And, fellas, you take a look at the Nuggets. A close game so far through the first half. This is what mm -hmm. happens when you go right at the defense. Love the aggressive approach. It's certainly getting them to the line. Yep, they call it a charity strike for a reason. Hey, don't look at me. I know what I said. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. We've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You look at Nikola Jokic. Pay in a closer way, and I think that's what you see with shorter contracts. Brian, more player movement has been the result. Yeah, good point, Ali. Thanks. And he gets that one. The MP's got 15. Such confidence as a passer. He hits guys in stride. It makes it look easy. And we just had to see that mobile one drive. Thank you. You gotta foul me, bro. I'm doing too many saucy moves on Jokic. This saw joke is up. Good free throw. Alright, let's see if I can get a three. Oh, I could have shot that. Why did I shoot that? I make that. There we go. Now we getting that release right. Highland is really fast. I got to upgrade my speed. Here's Najee. Shot clock at five. Now here's Brown. Don't let Bruce Brown pull up. Come on now. There we go. 2K hit me with updates in my first game. Ooh, he got me. Jesus. All right, we're going all the way, all the way, all the way. Yep, that's what I'm saying for you, all the way. If you're running, you running. Ugh, that update symbol is getting on my nerve. We run a lot of minutes as our first game at six man. No, that wasn't going to work because of the bad pass. See how I ran down the court? That's gangster. Now we're dunking the ball. That dunk was nothing. What do you see me pull out this year? I said, don't even try it. Hands are up. Stop trying to cut. Ireland is trying to fade away threes, my boy. Should we hold it or should we score it? Oh, if I'm wide open? Oh my goodness. How did a bad shot selection? That's a bad shot selection. So you ignore my call for the ball. Well, look at my team coming back. I don't know what they did it, but they did it. They did that. Oh, yes, sir. I'm going to say, don't even try it, Murray. The defense. We all on that. It's a pretty good ball movement. Good ball movement. Probably Aaron Gordon hit that. Let's go. Let's 
Back in the post again. Because he can't guard us in the post. He can't stop us in the post. 30 points. All right, this game was ugly. I ain't gonna lie, but yeah, we'll do better next game. That was just the first NBA game. First games don't always be the best, remember? They don't always be the best. Hey, MP, how was the game? You look really good out there. How are you feeling out there? Hey, how are you feeling? Also, you're needed in the press room. Okay, so we can just skip the small talk then. Yeah, follow me. I'm going to give you a rundown of the situation. We don't have much time, so I need you to listen closely because I will not be repeating myself. Okay, okay, I'm all ears. Obviously, they're going to want to ask questions about how you played. So if you feel like you underperformed at all, you're going to want to call oh, on John Luck. If you feel like you underperformed at all, you're going to want to call on John Luck because his whole thing is access, so he's bound to lob you a softball or two. If Got you're it. feeling confident, you're going to want to call on Nate White, the Nate man White. fans love to hate. His number one goal is to stir up controversy, so if you messed up even a little bit, he's going to be all over that. Also, he's going to have a couple Shep questions to throw your way. So if you want to get into that, then he's your guy. The other major player on the beat is Candace Green. She's not here today, but she likes to get into the longer view of things, really get into the X's and O's. So if you want to brag about your basketball IQ, she is your person to call on. OK. All right. Um, hey, is there uh, someone that you would choose first if you were me? Like. Is there a conversation I should stay away from, you know? That is completely up to you. Yeah, yeah. What you say in that room is going to go a long way in establishing your identity as a leader and your personal brand. Okay. And though I might have ideas about what you should say in a given situation, I can't tell you who to be. Yeah. But that doesn't mean you should go starting any giant PR nightmares, no, no, okay? No, no, but no. there is more than one way to skin the proverbial cat, if you follow me. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. Um, any more advice you got? <laughs> Lots, but you're needed inside. Go. Yeah. We're here. <laughs> <clears throat> we are indeed. All right, look, I just gave you a lot of information in a short amount of time. And what I want you to know is that what drew me to you as a potential employer was your grace under pressure. Just always really respected the way that you handle yourself in the press, and I, you're I think you're gonna do a fantastic job in there. Wow, you uh, you really fought through that one. Um, but thank you, it's probably one of the nicest things you said to me. All right. You really need to get in there. They get cranky if they think they're gonna miss deadlines. I so. got you, I'm in there. Come on, let's go. Hey, everyone. Hey, hold on. How about we go with my homie over here? Fantastic win tonight, MP. Thanks, John. What was your favorite part of tonight's game? You know, John, there was a lot of noise this offseason about whether I was the right pick at 18. So it felt, <laughs> it felt really good to get out there and just start proving my worth and proving that I was the right choice, you know? You know, I was so sick and tired about hearing about the right choice, MP this, MP that, you know, I just wanted to be about it. Well, you were certainly about it tonight. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what you got in store for us next time. Thanks, John. Appreciate you. I think we got time for a couple more questions. Uh, hey, you over here. Let's talk about a name. Shep Owens. You know, Shep Owens has cast a massive shadow over the start of your career. What do you need to do to um, convince the fans that it wasn't a mistake to draft you over Shep? I need to be better than Shep. 
<laughs> Better? Yes. I mean, isn't that always the goal? I mean, the question is, will you be? I mean, well, that remains to be seen, doesn't it, Nate? But I'm going to do everything in my power to get there. Because Shep and I have different games. My game is based on winning. And if I help us rack up a bunch of W's, I don't think the fans be pining for Shep anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what do you mean by that? I mean, so Shep is a losing player then? I mean, until he proves he isn't, yes. I've won at every level, though, so you can draw your own conclusions. All done? All right, thanks, guys.